Ready to get started on preparing for your Series 63? Let me walk you through the steps that's going to put you in the best position to pass. Now, at the outset, you can't underestimate this exam. It really does take the full 20 to 25 hours to be fully prepared. The first step is you want to read the textbook. You're reading for familiarity and exposure. If you didn't master or memorize some of the rules and regulations, that's okay for this first pass. Remember, as you're reading through, you're going to have lots of opportunity to come back into the textbook to flesh out and resolve any confusion that you might have. After you've read, what I want you to do is complete two practice exams, one on all topics and one exam just on units one, four, and five. And the reason for this is that units one, four, and five will make up 85% of your test. So I want you seeing extra questions and I want you doing extra drilling in that area. When you do these tests, be sure you score the exam as you go and show the rationales while you're testing. When you're doing these tests, if there's an area that's confusing to you or you don't understand a rationale, look to the reference at the bottom of the explanation and go back to the textbook it refers you to. Read up on that section. Get the clarity. If you don't understand it now, when are you going to learn it? This is the best time to go back into the textbook and flesh out any areas that you don't understand. Fix any misconceptions. Fill the gaps. After you've done the reading and two practice exams, then you want to come to class. You can come to one of my live classes or you can watch my on-demand program. They cover the same content and I'm going to build out a framework for you that's going to go through all the regulatory regimes and the ethical rules and obligations. You're going to take good notes in class and you're going to review those notes to lock in more info. After class, you're going to continue drilling and practicing in the QBank, completing at least six more full-length exams, still alternating between all topics and units one, four, and five. The goal is to reach a score of 80% on two consecutive exams. If you don't hit 80%, you're not done. You need to keep practicing. So what's the final part of your prep look like? You're reviewing your class notes, reading the supplemental materials we provide, and maybe rereading or skimming those heavily tested units. When you're feeling good and you've hit 80% on your QBanks, you then want to take our final benchmark exam. And that's going to predict within a couple of points where you're likely to score on the real exam. And it's great to take that at the end so you can have the confidence knowing that you've mastered what's required and are in a strong position to pass. Students who study with us at Nam and Marks pass 98% of the time on their first attempt. It's because we bring the right materials, the right guidance, and the right coaching to you. We're here to support you and are your partner as you begin and go through your entire study process. We can't wait to see you in class and good luck on your test.